Welcome back everybody, Mike here. And today we've got a quick one on the new Viridian RFX 45. It's their new green enclosed emitter dot for a pistol, or you can use it for a carbine or whatever you want to use it for out there. But this one just dropped and I wanted to get into this because it seems to be that everybody is wanting to park the school bus or the mailbox on their slide because there are just a lot of advantages when it comes to an enclosed emitter as compared to an open emitter optic for your pistol or for your rifle. Now, for those of you that don't know what an enclosed emitter optic is, as you can see here, this thing is all in like a box. That's why we call it the school bus lunch box or the mailbox. So basically all of the electronics are housed inside of that thing. And it does have glass on both the front and the back. So it's naturally going to be a little bit larger because it's going to have a little bit bigger of a battery. But some of the advantages are your LED is probably never going to get occluded or covered unless you break the glass and get something in there. So say belly button lint, dirt from training on the range, or just anything else that could work its way over a traditional projector style open LED emitter. It's not going to happen with something like the RFX 45. Before we get into the Viridian RFX 45, got to pay the bills with the plug. That is the sponsor of the channel today, and that is going to be TacPack. If you don't know what TacPack is, it is a monthly subscription box, something you get your significant other when you don't know what else to get them. You could get everything from parts for your build, knives, flashlights, camping, hunting gear, all kinds of outdoor stuff. If you're interested in something like that, check them out at TacPack.com and use code TC to get yourself a free tactical gift after that first month. One of the questions that always comes up with red dots or green dots in like this case is why? Why would you put that in their pistol? Why do you need it? Well, you don't necessarily need it, okay? So this is like an option. This is like when you go buy a new truck or a car getting the upgraded wheels. There are advantages to red dots. One, you can stay target focused. Two, once you get used to it, you're probably gonna be a little bit faster. And three, you are definitely going to be more accurate with a red dot than iron sights, at least the overwhelming majority of us will be. There are disadvantages, one being it's an electronic device and electronics can fail and it has a battery. So if you fail to replace the battery, it's gonna die on you. <laughs> so I replace mine every single year, but there are advantages and disadvantages to every electronic device to include red dots. But in my personal opinion, the benefits far outweigh the negatives when it comes to putting a red dot on a pistol or just about anything else because Back in the day, the old school used to say, I would never put a red dot on my rifle or trust that, always have iron sights. And that was like 40 years ago. And I don't even have iron sights on most of my rifles these days because optics are just so good. Let's go ahead and dive into some specs then we'll get to that range footage here on the RFX 45. So again, enclosed emitter optic. This one is gonna be in the footprint of the Acro, so it's pretty common out there already. Steiner, Aimpoint, RFX 45 here from Viridian and multiple others. Dimensions, 1.9 by 1.1 by 1.3, all in inches. Your lens is gonna be 24 millimeters by 15.5 millimeters. Glass is gonna be fully multi-coated, so that's that anti-fog, anti-scratch, and also a notch filter so you can see that dot clearly. It's gonna have 90 MOA of total adjustment. The dot in there is green and it will be five MOA. So kind of that happy median between three and six. Power source is gonna be a single 2032 top mounted battery, which makes it super easy. They say battery life is up to 50,000 hours, but if you honestly think that any company is having somebody sit there and stare at this red dot for five years or 50,000 hours, you're lying to yourself. So that's a mathematical calculation and probably the best of circumstances they're gonna get. I change my batteries every year and I suggest you do the same. When it comes to brightness settings, you are going to have 10, eight visible and two night vision. It is daylight bright even in the Arizona sun and very easy to see. You're gonna have auto off, auto on, and all that good stuff you want in a modern optic, which is gonna help the battery last longer. Weight wise, 1.73 or 48 grams if you're into that stuff. And the housing material is made of 6061. It's hard coat anodized. It's IPX6 rated for environmental. That is going to be dust, debris, and water, of course and it does have a limited lifetime warranty. But one thing on this specs here that I think they could have beefed up a little bit was making the actual housing out of 7075. That's just a far stronger material. But then again, when you make something enclosed, it's gonna be by nature a little bit more durable. If you like 2A content like this or learning about new things like the Viridian RFX 45 here, consider hitting that subscribe button. That's gonna do a couple of things for you. One, it's gonna make sure you don't miss any videos when they come out or new content on new items like this Viridian Optic here. 
but also it won't only help my channel because it'll signal to the algorithm on YouTube to push this video to other people, maybe some of which have never seen guns or 2A content, which could help them kind of get into what we're into. But also it just helps other 2A content creators as well. And I suggest you subscribe to them as well, just to help out the community as a whole. Let's get into the range performance with the Viridian RFX 45. Now I've become much more of a fan of green dots over the past couple of years. And there is some science out there that says green is easier for the human eye to see across the light spectrum. That's actual science. You can look at it yourself, but it does make a nice difference, even when you're in a more green environment. So living in the desert, it just seems to work for me. The five way dot here is pretty crisp and I'm not always the best judge of dot clarity because I do have stigmatisms and that can kind of make it look like a fly splatter on the window, but overall well done on the LED. The other thing I did notice is that you don't get any of that phasing, pulsing or blinking if you move the optic around, which is common in some more budget friendly red dots or green dots. Since it is a top mounted battery and the LED on the inside is on top as well, it is a little bit nicer to look through because it's much lower to the actual slide than some other optics out there where the LED projector is on the base, therefore making it a little bit of a thicker and taller off the slide style optic. When running drills out on the range, there was very little, if any noticeable discoloration or distortion in that glass. Transitioning from target to target, the dot was clear, crisp, and it was easy to get that fast follow-up shot. Now, I only have a couple of hundred rounds through this right now as it sits on the Apex tactical acro plate that has the iron sights in front of the optic, which will save the glass should you ever need to manipulate the slide with one hand and you don't wanna smash up your optic. Overall, looking through this, I was able to stay target focused because it didn't have a big battery compartment on one side or the other. The buttons were easy to get to and manipulate both on the left side of the optic itself. So if you are right-handed, it's very easy to reach up with your support thumb. If you are left-handed, you're gonna to have to reach over. When drawing this from the holster and manipulating it out there on the range, the body design is very smooth and snag-free. It has been rounded off in all the corners and overall fairly well thought out. Also on the front end, it's gonna have a nice angular front portion. So should you not have an iron sight in front of yours like I do, you will be able to comfortably and safely use the optic to rack the slide. Now, obviously that is not a primary way to do that, but should your support hand ever be injured and all you have is your primary hand, you're gonna be able to work that slide, no problem at all. Now for the good, the bad, and the ugly when it comes to parking the school bus on your slide. First off, some of the good. Now the green, like I said, it's better for my eye over the past couple of years. I've noticed that I'm able to pick it up faster and I'm able to see that dot on target a little bit better. There is some science out there. It's got a good LED in it. The dot seems pretty crisp for somebody that has astigmatism and there's no phasing or pulsing of the LED, which means they've used a strong LED. They've got a good battery in there and things are going well as far as that case. It does have some form of a lifetime warranty, which I've never had to use because this is my first uh, go when it comes to the Viridian stuff. Let's talk about what could be considered the bad one. It's big and let's just face it. It's not very aesthetically pleasing. Like I said, it's like putting a school bus on top of your slide. Um, it's going to feel a little bit weird when you press this thing out and start pulling the trigger. You're going to feel that weight kind of up on top and it might just feel odd, but once you get used to it, you flow right back into your muzzle control and recoil control like it's not a problem at all. But it's just, you know, it's ugly. I mean, let's just be honest. You can't put something that big on a slide and have it look actually good or attractive. Now, price-wise, I have seen this one out there for 420. And no, not the 420 you are thinking of, 420 US dollars. So it's more expensive than some. It's a lot cheaper than some others. Ultimately, it's turned out to not be so bad right now, but I've got to get more rounds through it and do a long-term review because this one just came out. In fact, I think it just started shipping like last month or something. I was able to get my hands on one. And eventually, once I get more rounds on this and a couple of others, I'll kind of do like an enclosed optic kind of showdown between all the ones that are currently out in the market because a few more just dropped between Trigicon and SIG, I think, as well. But ultimately, I want to know your thoughts. Are you into putting the school bus on the slide? Do you like green over red or have you tried it and does it work for you? I know there's been blue and yellow and all kinds of different colors have been tried, but it seems to be that red and green are the ones that are going to stick. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Leave me that comment down below. A huge shout out to all of my Patreons. If you want to support the channel, you can check out the Patreon. You can check out the clothing link down in the description or any of those links. Go to the website tacticalconsiderations.com or all the build lists are and 
all the links for this stuff. You can check it out and do your own research for that stuff. Keep doing it on the range. Remember, if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. I will see you all on the next one.